Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 29th through May 5th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Swords. So somebody wants to take some action here in regards to something. It could be you, it could be an energy you're dealing with. But let's see here. In the recent past, the Justice card, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Do you know? What you doing? How about we take you and we put you right here. There we go. All right. So something feels really, really good here. Really balanced, really happy. You feel really happy inside, but it reflects outside. There's potentially other energies involved in this happiness of yours, but it feels really balanced, really good here. In the current situation, the Two of Cups, the Judgment card, the Five of Cups. Uh... This is almost like making a decision of should I fight for this to make it work or there's been too much damage done here for me to even try. It's looking like you're at a crossroad here for a particular situation. Okay. In the immediate future, the five of swords, the lovers, the emperor. Oh. Um, I mean, I see the importance of a connection to you, but I also see it as being that importance being used as an excuse to something here, you know, like, well, they mean so much to me. Well, okay, but that doesn't mean they burn your house down and they damage things and then they mean so much to you, you know, or whatever the case. Blue, you're such an oompa loompa. Hold on. I have to figure out a way to... hang the camera from probably the ceiling because this dog is big i just got his weight today and he's 50 something pounds i'm like i thought you stopped at 40 no and he's not stopping he's pretty long big he doesn't fit under the table anymore okay let's uh let's clarify let's see the ace of swords hate it when he does that and he has a bone that he's chewing on and his paws are on my stand hold on okay go over there and chew on that bone i'm sorry no no more bone it's over there i'm not sorry really i meant to do that i'm sorry that you're confused about it right now over there well he's looking at it but Alright, so for the Ace of Swords, you get the Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Six of Swords. Um, somebody wants to do something, but they're not doing it. So I don't know if that's you or somebody you're dealing with. But it's definitely showing up as an energy of, I really, really feel like I should do something about something. But, nah, pass. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do this thing. But I really feel like I should. But, nah. Who is that? But it's not about changing their mind or anything. They still want to do it. They just are not doing it. <clears throat> I don't know if that's you or somebody you're dealing with here still. For the Justice card, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Everything was working out great here. There's stability, there's love, there's like, you know, one day at a time kind of a thing, but in good energies, balanced energies. Okay, let me do the Ten of Cups. The Hangman, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups, those are good times too, because it's like it allowed you space and time for yourself, this whole situation. So it wasn't only 
okay, you and me, we got this. We're going at it together. No, it also allowed you the space for you, which is, creates a sense of independence, which is quite healthy for any kind of dynamic. Okay. Let me do the nine of cups. The five of swords, the ten of wands, the page of wands. All right. There we go. Because I'm like, hold on, we're almost through all of the past energy and I don't see the issue. Now I see it. Something felt pretty hard for you, pretty... Then what the hell is up with those energies where everything feels fine if it wasn't? You're showing up fine in the sense of wanting to appear fine, but inside there's a struggle which you're not taking into consideration here. You're like, ah, it's okay. No, it's fine. You know, does it look fine from the outside? Yeah, then it's fine. It's okay. Okay, so you bypass something quite important here. You and how you truly feel about it. Something feels not so fine. Something feels out of balance. Something feels heavy. And you dismiss it. You're like, ah, so, okay, but no. What do you want? Let me, oh, I told you you're big. Let me do the two of cups. In the current situation, the three of pentacles, the three of swords, the queen of cups. I don't like this because this reading is so far presenting itself as a surface kind of a reading in the sense of I see a lot of stuff that are being presented to me as being okay. And then I pick up on certain things that are telling me, no, it's not what it looks like. It's not okay. You know, um, <clears throat> so there's been some damage done at some point here, even though the surface says no. It's even if there has been damage, it's okay. It's fine. We're we're okay here. Um, mm, mm, you're coming in in the current situation as still trying to keep up with appearances here, but the little damage that I see there in the past uh, has become quite big. That's why you're at a crossroad here. What are you gonna do? choose to keep on keeping on you know and being like no everything's okay or choose to actually address some things here and see what happens you know potentially the damage that's been created here needs some acknowledgement let me see the judgment card so you're just gonna stay like that that's how you That's uncomfortable, I think, for the both of us, but okay. For the Judgment card, you get the Six of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Lovers. Huh? Mm. It's when surface energies meet deep energies here that's what you're showing me like from a higher self perspective to a human experience perspective and it almost feels like you're trying to see if those match or something like is this for my highest good or is it not you're trying i feel like you're trying to figure it out whatever happened there that you kind of dismissed it's starting to get to you to the point of let me look into it you know and that's where a lot of questions start to show up about the situation. You know, what it truly is for you, what it represents, what's the meaning of this dynamic, of whatever happened there. Um, is it this, that, or the other? Do I want to work on it? Or do I want to keep on keeping an eye shut to it and pretending that everything's fine when in all actuality something went on here? But it was dismissed. Let me do the Five of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups. 
I see you coming out of it in the sense of, well, not coming out of it, but knowing that you'll come out of it, trusting, you know, that you'll be okay, whatever happens here. But there's still, um, what I don't see here, what's lacking here is the sense of working on it, the sense of bringing it up to the surface. It's still being kept deep, this whole uh, damage, whatever that was, it's still being kept hidden somehow. You are aware of it more and more, but I don't see the addressing of it. Not yet. I see the questions being asked, I see awareness increasing. I don't see anybody working on this. <coughs> Let me do the Five of Swords in the immediate future. The Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Hierophant. Uh, remember what I told you initially about this energy right here, that it's being used as an excuse almost, or, you know, but I love them. So we'll just pretend that bad things don't happen here because I love them. Something. Um... You're trying to figure out here how that is lying to yourself, you know? Hold on. How through that you're lying to yourself. Um, this is a very... Um, and I forgot I'm dealing with a water sign here where you guys... As I always say, you know, you have the tendency to keep it to the surface there, but when we, we're going in deep, that's where the action is at, you know? The surface looks good. It's like you keep it good in there. It's like, ah, everything's fine. And then we're going in deep, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Um... Because you have the tendency to feel this at a deeper level. And over there, you can lie to yourself for so long. At some point, you can't lie to yourself anymore. So I don't know what the hell went wrong here. If anything even went wrong, because it's very hard to say. I do see an energy, well, two energies, both energies, kind of wanting to keep things to the surface. Because over there, they can modify those things to look good. But in reality, at a deeper level, it's one of those places where... You know, at the end of the day, when it's just you and you, and there's nobody else to lie to, you're going to be honest with yourself, eventually. So I feel like you're getting in that place, but you're getting there with a whole lot of confusion over the situation, because you, um, you're trying to see how you lie to yourself, and you can't figure it out here, you know? Um, and then again, coming with this connection as an excuse in the sense of, but I love them, but this, but that. For everything, every little lie you may have told yourself about the situation, you, the, the response ultimately is, but I love them. Almost justifying it with that. And it's like, that's not helping. That's not helping you address the situation and heal the situation. For the lovers, you get the Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Something's off balance here. Something's not... Something's not showing up quite right. You know, at least energetically speaking. Um, if out of two energies, one is presenting it themselves with, oh, no, everything's fine, everything's good, and the other energy is doing the same thing, but feeling different about things, then something's off balance. Then you're not in the same place, energetically speaking. You know, one has an issue, the other one seems to be unbothered. Like, what issue? There's no issue here. So it's starting to feel off balance for you as well here. It's just a different inf uh, difference in frequencies here, you know, at the end of the day. Um, still don't see the addressing on, uh, of it. That's what's... Because I know you know how to address things. I know you know how to work on things here. So what about this situation makes you feel so... 
incapable of doing that, of addressing this. For the Emperor, you get the Empress, the Judgment card, the King of Pentacles. There's a, this is a very authoritative kind of a figure you may be dealing with. Maybe that's what it is. I, I can't overstep, so I might as well keep myself small. Maybe? It can't be that easy. Because the Emperor and the Empress right next to one another, actually, the way they came out here, they do come from equal places. So there's nobody above, nobody below, nobody, you know, there's no such thing as me, I'm your boss. Or, nope. You know, and that applies to everything where there is no, well, it depends on how it's played off. But in all reality, no, there is no differentiation when that comes into play i don't what bothers me about this reading um is the fact that there's no addressing the situation even though it's starting to be acknowledged and recognized okay something's off here something doesn't feel right something feels off balance and you know you're starting to to get it more and more it's still not being addressed, and then it kind of closes off with a little bit of because it can't, because they're above me, or something like that, which is even more bothersome. It's like, what? No. Nobody's above you. Nobody's below you, nobody's above you. Here. Or anywhere. But... Okay, we'll take it as it is. We'll take the acknowledgement of it. Maybe that's the first step. You know what I mean? It can all happen in one freaking energy and one reading. So we'll take the acknowledgement part. Where it's like, okay, you're starting to figure it out. You still don't have clarity, complete clarity, especially through here. I hope this energy is not shutting you down in the sense of, you know, because uh, the only one that's going to shut you down eventually is going to be you, not any other energy that thinks is above you or whatever the case. Uh, or you thinking that they're above you or something and I can't say anything. No, I hope that's not it. But okay, we'll leave that as that. We'll take it as first step is achieved, the acknowledgement of it, then the process of going through it and gaining clarity. That's what's coming up next. Um, all right, let me see what the universe has as a final advice. The high priestess, the star, the seven of pentacles. See, because your higher self definitely has clarity here over the situation, what it wants, what it needs, you know, to navigate through this in a healthy, what, well, the healthiest way possible for you. It's just acknowledging and addressing some issues at play here, you know. Um, the acknowledgement part is definitely check. You just need the addressing part of it, which I feel like it's going to come soon. So, okay. I'm still not satisfied here completely, but this is not about me. It's about you. You know what I mean? So you'll, you'll definitely get to that part when it's time. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.